Hello and thank you for joining me for another video from Between CAD Classes. In this video I'm going to show you how you can create custom keyboard shortcuts in Autodesk Inventor. It's actually a very simple process, you just need to know where to go. I'm going to go to the Tools tab and then select Customize. Here in the Customize dialog box it may start out on the Ribbon tab, I'm going to switch to the Keyboard tab instead. Here I can see all of the different commands and any assigned keys that I already have. My recommendation to you is when you first come in here, you can click on keys to sort alphabetically by the keys, and we can see all of the pre-assigned shortcuts here. In my case, I've already created several custom ones, so you might see some on my screen that you will not see in your software. For example, I have assigned several of the constraints that I most often use to numbers one through five on my keyboard. Many of these already had other shortcuts, but when I'm working, I like to use my left hand for keyboard shortcuts, and the numbers one through five are really easy to assign for those particular ones. Obviously, I just have to remember which one's which after you start using them for a while, it becomes second nature. Let's say that I want to add in a keyboard shortcut for chamfer. I'm going to go down to the C's, and I can see that the C has been applied twice. Now you can use the same keyboard shortcut in different environments. So the C is for center point circle in the sketch mode. The C is also for constraint in the assembly mode. So depending on if I'm in an assembly file or if I'm sketching in a part file, it will start the appropriate command. I would like to create a shortcut for chamfer, so I am going to click on command name to sort it by commands alphabetically, and then I'll just come in here and look for chamfer. Let's say that I wanted to try to add the C in there because it's not in the sketch mode, it's a place to feature. So I'm going to go ahead and click over here underneath keys, and then I'll just type C at my keyboard. It does tell me that there's more than one command assigned to it. I'm just going to go ahead and press enter. I'll click on keys again to sort alphabetically by keys, and as I look at the C, I can see that it did indeed apply it. It seems like it's going to work okay because one is a placed feature and one is a sketch. However, when you are in the part mode and you click a sketch command, that will often invoke the sketch tool. Before creating the chamfer shortcut, normally if I type the letter C here, it would actually start the sketch command and ask me which plane I wanted to place it on. If I tap the letter C now, it appears like nothing happens, but let's take a closer look at our status bar. It shows me command alias input C center point circle. You'll see an up and down arrow there. Basically, if I wanted the center point circle, I'll just press enter. And then as I said earlier, it will start the sketch tool and then automatically place me in the circle command. But if I hit the C again, I can arrow up or down to go to the next shortcut, in this case chamfer, and press enter and it will begin the chamfer command. So there you can see I can assign the same letter to more than one command, but I have to use the up and down arrow to choose the one that I want. I don't really think that's super efficient. I instead typically will just come up with a different letter or a different keyboard combination. So I'm going to go back to customize and I am going to once again sort by command name and find my chamfer. And in my case I've assigned the letter K and just learned to use the letter K for the chamfer command. Uh, again it just takes some getting used to but once you remember K is chamfer or whatever letter you choose it's very easy to jump into the chamfer command and not have to arrow up or down depending on the uh, environment that you're in. Let's look at another one. I would like to create a keyboard shortcut for the mirror command, and possibly the shortcut already exists. I'm going to tap the letter M and see what happens. If I look at my status bar, once again down here at the bottom left, I can see a little red M indicating that M has not been assigned to any command. So I'll escape out of that and once again start my customize find my mirror command. You can also filter down your categories. I'm going to locate my mirror command. And then I want to make sure that I'm using the placed features one, not the sketch one. Obviously I can do that one as well, but I'll go ahead and just type in M for mirror here. 
Click OK, and now when I select the M key on my keyboard, you can see that it begins the mirror command. One thing I should point out about this one, though, I believe out of the box, tapping the letter M will start the measure command. I felt like I used the mirror command more often, so I essentially just went in and deleted the M from the measure command and added it to the mirror command instead. So once more to recap, Tools tab, Customize, Sort by Keys, and even if you're not quite ready to customize, this is also a way that you can come in here and see what the keyboard shortcuts are to do several different things. And then of course you now know how to go ahead and find the command and add the appropriate keyboard shortcut. Please like and subscribe if you found this useful, and as always, thank you so much for watching.